Hey guys and gals, it's Trevor again, and the time has come for us to build the Patriarch of the Cult of the Deep Fried Emperor. So the first thing we're gonna do is to cut off this big hand. We're gonna sand down the wrist, and then we're gonna use plastic glue to reattach it with the palm facing upwards. Now let's chop off the right lower arm at the elbow, make another cut at the wrist, sand down all the connection points, and then we're gonna rebuild the arm at a lower angle with the palm of the hand facing upwards. Alright, now let's make some some delicious menu items for our patriarch to hold. We start, as always, with a lightly toasted sesame bun, a beautifully flame grilled patty, a lovely slice of slightly melted cheese, the second half of the sesame bun, and then we're gonna lightly dot the surface to make sure the sesame seeds are visible. Now let's give our patriarch this lovely culinary creation to hold. Now there are a lot of beautifully detailed skulls on the base of our patriarch. Unfortunately, our marketing team has decided that this is not in line with our franchise branding. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove all of those and we're gonna replace them with some burgers. A big pile of burgers. Now we don't only serve burgers, we also have sides. And here to make some of those sides, we have Kara. Hey guys and gals, it's Kara again. So the first thing I did was to draw out a template on a piece of card and then I cut it out and folded it along the dotted lines to form a box for the fries. And then then I got some milliput. Then I molded it around the template. After that, I rolled out a long string of milliput. And then I cut it into a variety of lengths. Then I put the cut milliput into the box to form the fries. And the fries are done! Thank you, these look delightful! Now we're gonna give these to our patriarch to hold. Alright, I think this guy is looking ready to paint. So I primed him using the Citadel Wraithbone Spray. Then I mixed some black and white paint into a grey paint and painted painted all the bits of rock on his base. I used lead belcher to paint the pipe he's standing on and some of the metal details on the space marine head he's holding and the one on his base. I grabbed some dark red paint and used it to paint all the rips and gaps on his skin and I also used this to paint the box of fries. I'm gonna use some dark blue paint to paint those space marine heads and then I'm gonna use this brown paint to paint all the burger patties. I will be using some avalanche sunset to paint the cheese on the burger the beautifully delectable fries, and this weird webbing stuff on the pipe which I'm gonna assume is melted cheese. I'm gonna grab this ochre paint and use it to paint all the burger buns, and then I shall use this pink paint to paint the patriarch's tongue. I'm gonna use some screaming skull to paint all the claws and spikes on the model, and then I'm gonna grab a light blue and very carefully paint the eyes. Now I'm gonna mix this bright red paint with some white paint to form an extremely bright red paint. This paint is actually pretty close to white and I'm gonna use it to paint the brain. Then I'm gonna mix in a little bit more red and dry brush this over the brain and a little bit more red for a slightly lighter layer of dry brushing. And then I'm gonna dry brush one more time with just the red. After that, I'm gonna grab a darker red and very carefully pick out the highest points of some of the wrinkles on the brain. All right, now I'm gonna fix a few of the mistakes I made. Then I'm gonna grab a dark purple paint and paint it onto the tip of the tongue. I'm also going to stipple some of this on the border of the purple to blend it in with the pink. Then I'm going to grab the pink and do the same until we've got a nice smoothish blend. Right, time for the wash. I'm going to apply some Reichland Flesh Shade onto all the skin of the model. Then I'm going to apply a yellow wash to the back carapace of our patriarch. Now I'm going to get a brown wash and paint it onto all the claws and talons. And finally, I'm going to apply a black wash to the fries, burgers, the pipe, and all these red slits. Once the washes are dry, I'm gonna get our bright red paint and use it to highlight all the red areas of the model. Then I'm gonna get some wraith bone and dry brush it onto all the skin of the model to make it look even creepier. I'm also gonna dry brush some of this onto the yellow carapace. Then I'm gonna mix some yellow paint with the wraith bone and use it to highlight the yellow carapace. Now I'm gonna get some screaming skull and dry brush it onto all the claws and spikes. Then I'm gonna use a bright yellow to highlight all the cheese on the model. And let's not forget that melted cheese on the pipe as well. Oh yes, and we're also gonna use this to highlight the fries. Now let's mix some ochre paint and some white paint and dry brush it onto all the burger buns. We're also gonna dry brush this bright silver paint onto the pipe to bring back some of the shine. Now let's grab this bright blue paint and use it to highlight the heads of the space marine, 
lines. And then we're gonna mix some bright blue paint with some white paint and very carefully highlight the eyes. Okay, so my camera refused to focus properly at this point, but here is the highlighted eye. Now we're gonna get just the white paint and carefully paint it into some of the crevices and folds of the brain to make them look like they're glowing. I'm gonna mix some bright red paint and some white paint and dry brush this onto the area surrounding the brain to create a glow. Eh, that'll do. Now we're gonna mix some white and black paint into a light grey paint and dry brush this onto the rocks. And then we're gonna do another round of dry brushing with just the white paint. Now we're gonna use a bright yellow to paint a beautiful McDonald's logo onto the box of fries. And after that, we're gonna attach the Patriarch to one of my easy rocky bases. Oh dear, but I forgot to highlight the tongue. So let's highlight it with some light pink and we're gonna use some light purple to highlight the purple tip. We're gonna use stippling to blend those highlights a little. And now we've gotta choose a name for our Patriarch. Of course we're calling him Ronald. What did you expect? And we're just gonna add one final touch. I'm gonna apply a little bit of red wash around around his mouth to give him his signature cheery smile. And just like that, our McDonald's patriarch is done. His strong arms are perfect for giving employees a hug. And he's always got an extra burger or two stashed away for his favorite children. Honestly, I'm really proud of this guy. I think he looks gross and horrible and I couldn't be happier. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to help me out even more, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Trevor Goes Meep. Alright, I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you all next time.